Hey everybody, it's the uh, Man's Man's uh, Tool Review, and we have the Mastercraft Maximum 5 gallon 2 horsepower compressor. This is going to serve both as a review for this, and I think this can uh, be used as a generic review for uh, small air compressors. Now right on the business end of things here we have the um, outlet here. This gauge tells you pressure in the tank, this gauge tells you pressure in the line, and this is your regulator. There's two two and a half gallon tanks. Each of them have a bleeder here so you can drain out the moisture. On this side we have the air filter. The handle connects the two tanks together. We have our emergency pressure relief valve. And we've got a list with all of our legal warnings on how this could probably blow up and kill you. Two horsepower. 120 to 150 max PSI, 5 CFM at 40 PSI, and 4 CFM at 90 PSI. Plus, all the Mastercraft compressors do include a chart on them on what they can run. And the only thing that this is not recommended for at all is a sander. We get intermittent use on a paint gun, drill, cutoff tool, die grinder, and flooring nailer. But we're good to go with a green on grease and caulking guns, impact wrench, roofing nailer, framing nailer, 3-in-1 brad nailer, finishing nailer, brad nailer, 18 gauge, and inflation. So this is probably geared more towards using a nail gun. And um, for that, it does a pretty good job. I've put a couple uh, small projects together using a nail gun, and this has been a good uh, compressor to run those nail guns. But most of the stuff I've been doing lately is a little bit of home maintenance on cars. And just the other day, I changed the exhaust on my mother-in-law's uh, 2005 Chevy Uplander. To get one of the U-bolts off, I had to use a die grinder with a cutoff wheel on it, and it was maybe 40 seconds of cutting, and I had to wait for this thing to catch up probably about five minutes. So because of that, if you're going to use this, if you're using this for woodworking, this is the perfect compressor for you. You can stick it underneath a cabinet, under a shelf, run your airline to your nail gun, and you can build cabinets all day long. Well, not all day long, but if you're doing it at home as a project, then yeah, this is what you're going to want. If you're using this for uh, automotive use, then beyond changing tires and inflating them, this probably isn't the compressor for you. And probably nothing along the sizes either. I think it's too big to be used just for inflating because this thing weighs about 40 pounds when you pick it up by the handle. So if you're going to be using it just for inflating tires, you want to get something a little smaller. It's at that awkward size where it does a lot of stuff not great. If it uh, were a little smaller, it would do a few things awesome. One of the things about this is that it's an oil-free compressor, which means that it's extremely loud. Now, I'm not sure how well that sound translated through into the video, but trust me, it's loud. Overall, out of a score of 10, I would have to give this compressor a six and a half, maybe a seven. It's done the job that I've asked out of for it most of the time. Um, I am looking at getting a new compressor though, and I'm thinking somewhere between 20 and 30 gallons is what I'm going to want to get. Now, I don't know if that means I'm going to get rid of this one, or if I'm going to set this up somewhere in the garage, which is a small garage in disarray right now. So I might stick this in the corner and use it. I might put it up on the Kijiji and sell it, um, but definitely I'm thinking of replacing this with something bigger which I'm going to stick beside the UFC punching bag where the vacuum is. And the vacuum is going to go up on the wall between the speakers. And I've just been too busy to finish up in the garage. I got the drywall up. I've shown you videos of this before, I believe. But I started mudding and we had a baby, so I haven't had too much time to come out here and do that. So 
anyways, back to the compressor. Like I said, I'd give it a four, six and a half, maybe a seven out of 10. Uh, it's good value for its money when you catch something like this on sale though. Full price, it's a $300 compressor. On sale, it's a $180 compressor. And on sale, I would definitely say it's exceptional for its value. I've had it for about two and a half years now. It's showing no sign of slowing down yet, but it's annoyingly loud, especially when the baby's room is on the other side of that wall. And now that I'm getting into more um, comfortable working on my own cars, it's starting to get a little tedious waiting for it to catch up when running things like the uh, air ratchet or the uh, die grinder. So thanks for listening to this review. And I believe that most of the points that I stated about this compressor can apply to any compressor that is a two horsepower, uh, five gallon setup, or really any compressor of this generic size, um, a small type one. Um, this is kind of going to be the results you're going to get. It can do a lot of stuff well, but it, the only thing it does great is running nail guns.